Well, hey YouTube, it's Outland, and today I have a little bit different kind of uh, video for you. Um, I know it's kind of it's getting into the cold season, it's getting winter now, and a lot of us hang up our gear, um, self-included. Some people don't, um, but they go all year round. But uh, for me, it's you know at least the next two months or so, um, I'll be inside a lot and uh, won't be doing a lot of hiking or anything. But uh, I'm gonna continue making videos for you, and I wanted to start off. Uh, my inside series, I guess is what I'd call it, with uh, something, uh, you know, a lot of us tend to do, especially around the holidays now. Uh, we have a lot of time off, some of us, and, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot to do, but kind of hang out inside and uh, watch movies. Well, I thought I'd do a series, uh, or not a series, but a, a quick video on uh, some of my favorite outdoor movies. And uh, so I'm going to go through these in no particular order, but I wanted to show you guys um, some of my favorites. Um, you know, YouTube is great. It's one of, actually one of the most entertaining things I've found for following uh, different channels and, and watching their outdoor adventures. But every once in a while, I like to uh, just bust out, uh, you know, a commercially produced movie and watch it. And uh, there's a lot of outdoor videos that I that I have, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm not even mentioning. But uh, I'm going to go through a couple here. So let's take a look. Okay, the first one I've got here is... Uh, a little movie some people not, might not know about. It's, it's called The Edge. <clears throat> and it stars Anthony Hopkins and I think Alec Baldwin's in this. And uh, <clears throat> it's uh, basically about a uh, it's about a, a guy who's a, a husband of a model and, and there's a, a billionaire. And they go on a flight together over Alaska and the plane crashes. And uh, they land out in the bush and they've got to survive against grizzly bears and, and the elements. And... Uh, they end up um, having a showdown with it with a grizzly, which is just amazing. And then there's a, a plot twist in there as well. It, it's a very entertaining movie. Uh, it came out in uh, not sure when this came out in the 90s, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when it came out, but it's uh, oh 97 is what it says on here. But uh, this is a really good entertaining movie. It's it's a lot of fun, a lot of action, and a lot of outdoor adventure. Um, I recommend this one. It's fun. It's called The Edge. <clears throat> Another probably well-known favorite, uh, one of our favorite uh, comedians from the 80s, uh, John Candy uh, and Dan Aykroyd, uh, The Great Outdoors. This is a, just a great comedic movie. It's a lot of fun, makes you laugh. Um, you know, these two together, are, you know, this is the you know, this was the Chris Farley before there was Chris Farley. And, and you know, I, I still love, I love John Candy. I, anything he did pretty much was, was fantastic. And this is a great outdoor movie. There's not a whole lot of camping or anything, but they do some fun stuff and just hilarious hijinks with bears and everything else. So <clears throat> I recommend this one. This is a great, great one to have in your collection. Now, a lot of people think I'm crazy on this next one, but uh, <clears throat> why would you have this one? But uh, this is actually a really good outdoor adventure movie. It's called Deliverance. And this is, came out in the 70s. Um, it stars a, a really cool cast of guys, uh, John Voight, uh, Burt Reynolds in his prime, you know, just freaking badass guy. Um, uh, it's also got Ronnie Cox, and I forget who the other guy is, and Ned Beatty. He's he's funny in it. Um, but I'll tell you, man, this is a this is an intense flick. It, it's got some disturbing stuff in it. Um, but it, it's a good outdoor adventure movie, and uh, especially if you're really into paddling, you know, you love canoeing and all that, um, you're gonna really enjoy the scenes in it. And uh, you know, but it, it is disturbing, and it's. It's one of those movies they actually, one of the few movies they haven't remade yet, which really, really surprises me because I thought they'd be all over this one, but nobody's tackled this one yet for a remake. But probably because it's that good, it stands on its own. You know, Reynolds, you can't, you can't compete with Reynolds in his heyday, man. The seventies and eighties, that guy was complete, completely awesome, and he's awesome in this. Even he gets uh, hurt in this one, but uh, he's still awesome. So uh, it's Deliverance. Um, there's a disturbing scene in it, a couple of disturbing scenes. The movie itself is disturbing, but uh, it's entertaining and it's a good outdoor adventure flick. So you might want to pick that one up and check it out. Now this next one is a little lesser known. A lot of people don't know this one, um, but I've known it since about the 80s when they used to show it on TV all the time. And it's called Whitewater Summer. Uh, this is one of those 80s coming-of-age movies that uh, they were all about, you know, the young teenage kid um, comes on his own, and uh, it stars Kevin Bacon and Sean Astin. If you remember Sean Astin, he was Rudy. Um, he lit more recently. He's been uh, 
uh, uh, Frodo's friend in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, Sean Astin. But he's a little kid in this one. He's like 13, 15 maybe. Um, but this is one of those movies where it's, uh, you know, Sean Astin's character. He, he doesn't want to go out in the outdoors. He hates outside, hates camp and all that. His parents kind of force him into this uh, outdoor camp led by uh, Mr. Bacon here. And uh, they have all kinds of adventures, crazy rock climbing, mountain climbing. Uh, they have to cross this bridge over this gorge. Um, this movie isn't real well known. In fact, this movie went out of print for a while. You couldn't even get it. And then they re-released it on the DVD a few years ago. So I snatched it up off of Amazon. Can't find it on Blu-ray. Um, you know, I don't know how much longer it's going to be available. If you can even find this online or anywhere, you might be able to find it. But uh, it, it's a good movie. It, it it's got a really awesome soundtrack, by the way. You know, it's it's got the Cult and Journey, um, Cutting Crew, just some really cool songs. I uh, kind of made my own mixtape of the soundtrack on my iPod. And, uh, you know, it's a shame it didn't get more attention. You know, it's back before Kevin Bacon be became who he is and, you know, today. And, you know, but it's a cool outdoor adventure movie. And it's a great coming of age movie. Even though the overall message is, you know, the main kid doesn't like the outdoors and he never will like the outdoors. Uh, you know, that's kind of sad. But uh, it's, a, it's one of those movies that actually focuses on camping and hiking and, and outdoor adventure. And, you know, it's kind of hard to find for some reason hard to find but uh it's called whitewater summer so see if you can pick that one up this next one you probably remember this one cliffhanger it's got uh, stallone in it it's a rock climbing adventure movie and then there's a, a robbery and a heist and uh you know it's got some really outrageous stuff in it there's a lot of cursing in it a lot of really intense violence but it's kind of a fun action flick and it's some of the outdoor scenes are really exciting and uh, kind of fun and and, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend this one for the whole family for sure, but, uh, it's kind of, it, it's, it's got some entertaining scenes to it. And, uh, I like Stallone in his prime nowadays. I think he's, he's, uh, in pretty bad shape with his movies he's been making, but, uh, th this one was cool. It's one of the last cool ones he did. Um, and, uh, it's called Cliffhanger. It's, I think it came out in the nineties. Uh, you know, just one of those crazy John Lithgow's in it and he's this crazy bad guy. It's an insane movie. You might want to pick that one up and check it out. Um, here's another Kevin Bacon flick, actually. And this is a little bit more recent. This is in the 90s. Excuse me. And uh, this is called The River Wild. And uh, not so much camping and hiking. It's, it's, it's a rafting movie. Uh, but there's a robbery. It takes place in this one, a heist. And, uh, you know, I don't want to give too much away. But Bacon's, you know, got a pretty strong character in it. And... Um, it stars, um, um, I'm trying to think of what her name is, um, Meryl Streep, <laughs> the Devil Wears Prada Lady. And it kind of a, a character you wouldn't think of, but she's a really tough character. She's really, really awesome in this movie. And she just loves the outdoors, and she's trying to get her family to love the outdoors. And um, you know, they have these adventures, and they see some beautiful scenery in British Columbia. And it, it's an exciting movie. My wife got this for me on Blu-ray uh, couple years ago i think or a year or two ago and uh definitely one of those ones you want to have on blu-ray because it's a it's a gorgeous movie really well shot some good some good action sequences and it's got a pretty interesting story you might enjoy that if you like outdoor movies and of course uh another one must have on blu-ray um more recent movie of all 127 hours um stars james franco and his character is awesome he is he's incredible in this movie um, you probably know the story if you know anything about uh, this. Uh, it's about Aaron Ralston. It's based on a true story. Um, Aaron uh, was a hiker, mountaineer, canyoneer. Went out to uh, Blue John Canyon um, by himself and uh, got in a predicament. A rock falls on his arm, about 800-pound rock, and pins him for quite a while, 127 hours worth. And uh, he has to kind of do the unthinkable to get out of the uh, predicament he's in. But man, this movie, I'll tell you, it's such a strong movie. Even if you're not a big outdoor fan, it's a very entertaining movie. And, uh, you know, the, the first like 30 minutes or so where he's going through the and he meets the two girls and they, you know, go hiking and stuff. Uh, I love I love this movie. I, I watch it over and over and over again. And the Blu-ray, you know, just makes it even more awesome. Just the the, the adventure, you know, of it. Um, 
this is a must have in your outdoor movie collection. You have to have this movie. Um, if you have not seen this, uh, you have got to pick it up and see it. Uh, if you're squeamish, you might want to close your eyes at the end, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> it, it's an awesome movie. Absolutely fantastic. And I, I wish we could see more movies like this uh, produced by Hollywood because, you know, we just don't. We don't see a lot of outdoor hiking movies, camping, whatever. We just don't seem to see them very much. And it's sad because Hollywood, you know, so many people do this. You know, I, I am not the only one. There there are hundreds of us guys out there with channels here on YouTube. And, you know, we're, we're doing this all the time. And, and uh, that's why I've kind of turned to YouTube um, because that's where I can actually get my fill, my fix for, uh, for outdoor adventure. But anyway, um, those, those are the physical movies I have. One movie I do not have a physical copy of. But I highly recommend it. Just came out. It's called uh, Mile, Mile and a Half, and it's a uh, documentary about uh, a group. Excuse me, about a group of artists who uh, they go out and they do the uh, uh, the the um, the Muir Trail, John Muir Trail, out in the Sierras, and they start at Yosemite, and they go out and they uh, experience all kinds of cool stuff out on the trail. And one guy kind of drops out, and he can't handle the the, the situation, but uh, Man, what a what an awesome movie! It, it, you know, it's it's not really a movie so much as just kind of a documentary. It's kind of a story, it follows them along, but it's gorgeously shot, and it's one of those that us outdoor guys, man, it's another you you got to see it. And uh, so it's called Mile a Mile and a Half. It's available on iTunes for download, Amazon. You can order a Blu-ray or a DVD of it for physical copy. They're actually showing it in theaters in select places right now. Um, you can kind of find it if you really look. But um, nowhere near me, of course. I think Louisville, Kentucky was the closest place for me, but uh, I won't be seeing it. So um, definitely get it in high definition. Watch it at home. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a great flick. But uh, if you know of some other movies that I'm not even mentioning, uh, I would love to see them in the comments. So please put them below. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys are watching. What, what you watch when you're when you when you're stuck inside. And there's a major winter storm outside or whatever, and you. And you're stuck inside watching movies. What outdoor movies do you go to? What what did I not mention here that, that you like and enjoy? I'd be really curious to see what you guys think. And um, please remember to, to like like the videos, subscribe if, you, if, you're, if you're not a subscriber. Um, I've got a lot more content coming, guys. I've got some great gear reviews. I've got some great outdoor vids coming. And I've got a lot of trips I'm trying to line up for, um, for spring. Um, Nothing definite yet, but uh, I, hopefully well, in the next few weeks I'll have it in the works. And uh, really looking forward to uh, what's coming up. So I look forward to uh, what's yet to come for the channel. Uh, things are only going to get even more uh, exciting and, uh, and better. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, enjoy yourselves and enjoy, uh, enjoy the outdoors and, do, and just enjoy it. All right. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.